holes in which the statement is false, right? Okay. Um, but that is unusual. So, um, I had wished for a proof. these can, of course, be the standard model, right? Um, so, the main thing is to exhibit a statement which is um, so from a given set of axioms, right? Um, true in a standard model. Actually, the statement can be weakened because we don't actually have to restrict the argument to um, axiom sets that are um, all true in the standard model either, right? Um, uh, the uh, uh, a weaker condition will be sufficient, I think, <laughs> as uh, far as I can see. And of course, this was true of Kudel's theorem because uh, he only assumed for the unprovability of the statement that the axiom to be consistent, for the unprovability assumed that they are omega consistent, right? But uh, um, he really needs something only weaker, right? That is, that they are one consistent, which uh, means that if you have a um, sigma zero one statement, um, well, it's omega consistent as far as that's concerned. That is, you can't prove that the uh, statement in question is false. Okay, now. Um, T 
two, three, three, Okay, 
Um, and even this result might be thought to have credibility and in self reference sort of in its background, right? Okay. Now, three, and this is something special. Um, Look, the theorem was a big surprise. That is, that you can't prove uh, the second theorem, you can complete this theorem, I'm thinking in particular. You can't prove the consistency of the system within the system itself. Okay, right now, in a way, um, analogous theorems were known. Yeah. 
doesn't have, you know, canonical well ordering. There is a problem because uh, what would one mean by a minimalization argument here, right? Nevertheless, um, I am going to try to say one. Okay. Um, <laughs>
so long well. Uh, dreams of universal bonfires, followed by extension, followed by universal bonfires. Right. Now, the fulfillability game is this. Um, uh, one player plays the universal quantifiers, the second player plays the existential quantifiers. Okay? Um, now, the rules of the game are that uh, the universal player has to choose numbers less than sigma 1 and the existential um, the existential player right, has to choose numbers less than sigma 2 and so on right so, so they alternate right now It should be obvious that A is true in the same remote areas. There's some infinite sequence. Obviously, if you're in the, the standard model. 
something like the Gödel theorem in that the uh, statement will be provable for each particular n, right? But not um, provable for all n, right? Okay, right? Okay, however, the statement will be pi zero two instead of pi zero one uh, because the statement that some sequence of uh, length n fulfills um, a is itself a sigma zero one statement. Okay. Now Oh, 
sequence, good if it satisfies the condition that I put in that the uh, beginning of the sequence be um, a number um, greater than its length. Okay. Then, um, Well, for each particular end, they both provable and true. And for any um, particular statement of the system or finite conjunction thereof, right? particular sigma zero one consequence of the statement that is provable will have to be true, right? Okay. Now um if the system is finitely axiomatizable Sigma fulfills in. So what I am saying is that this statement, though provable for each particular and right, cannot be provable in the system. Right? Now, here we have to assume that the system is one consistent, which uh, Girdle assumed only for the uh, negation of the statement he was trying to prove independent. And for the negation, right, then it has to be um, too consistent, right? One would have to say, see? So, uh, this is um, a false weakness of the statement compared to that. Girdle. Now, <coughs> here is where the idea of a minimalization argument comes in.
to be somewhat uh,
theory T are infulfillable. Or I guess I called it nicely infulfillable. If this extra condition is satisfied. That follows from the, the statement that the, for the end first time axioms are infulfillable at all, right? Okay. Um are nicely infulfillable. Well, hey, it's true for each particular hand, right, that this holds in the bottle, right? Because um, that's a consequence of the theory, right? Okay. However, the universal statement cannot be true because notice that we chose, I mean, every coordinate of this bounded ultra power, right? standard. 
be something that can be shown to be Um Then we use the overspilled principle to create a model that um, gives an initial segment satisfying the stronger theory. Right? Now, I also mentioned some other notions. Uh, by this time, anyway, I'm not the only one to have done this, and maybe some people did it even before. And apparently, this goes only so far. But look, one notion of fulfillability would not restrict one to initial segments, but to arbitrary scattered blocks that may be scattered as long as the um, summon product, right, the things in the first block, you know, uh, are in the second block, right? Okay. Given that, one can give purely model theoretic proofs of, uh, well, most notably, Hansen's famous result that um, x1 zero induction, right, is not um, provable in the system. Um, one can also prove interesting uh, the weaker results like in the system in that this is the plan arithmetic, of course. Um, and second, uh, mine isn't the only model theory that proves at least the second time. And one author of a joint paper on that said, look, if only, uh, in our investigations, we found there's only so far we can go, and the proof theorists are going to have us beat eventually, right? That we can do a certain amount. I do not know, I presume, that I am going to do no better. One can prove using this method that, um, which has somehow become a pretty famous result that in um, arithmetic with just sigma one induction, the provably recursive statements are precisely the primitive recursive function. And, this, and that is really a similar sort of argument because uh, primitive recursive functions are really um, <coughs> can be thought of as um, functions on the ordinal less than omega to the omega. Okay, well, this is perhaps enough. Sorry for having um, had to be uh, sort of sketchy at the end. Um, but I feel a bit sketchy myself. <laughs> <laughs>
method rather than a model theoretic one. Uh, it um, it uh, really, as he himself acknowledges, does duplicate the method I originally uh, used myself. Right? Um, okay. Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. Let's uh, thank the speaker again.